Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 13 of our Understanding Docker for Windows video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about working with SQL Server 2016 with Dockers. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 11 and 12 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. All right, let's get started. SQL Server 2016. Microsoft has built a container image with SQL Server 2016 in it and it is available right here in this particular URL that you can see. So probably what we can do is we can just try to navigate to that particular URL and see how the particular Docker image is going to look like for that particular SQL Server. And also the good news is Microsoft has also released a Linux version of SQL Server recently so that you can run the Microsoft SQL Server on a Linux operating system. Guys, now you can see that Microsoft is really, really going through the cross-platform technology. And right now, the SQL Server is running on a Linux operating system. PowerShell is running on a Mac operating system. And .NET is running on both Linux and Mac operating system. So you can see that really it's a cross-platform. And because of these things, Docker is really pitching in. And it could able to support the Microsoft technologies on multiple different operating systems. So this is really cool. And once again, as I already said, the SQL Server is of two different versions. So the one is the Microsoft SQL Server Windows Express. That is an Express Edition. As you know, Express Edition is free and it is limited to the database size and the number of database that you create. And it can be used for free for development purpose, but not for the production. Whereas this one that we are seeing right now is the Microsoft SQL Server uh, for Windows. It is a full blown version, but it has only 180 days of uh, public preview till the next release. Right. And then there is a Microsoft SQL Server Linux version, which is running on a Linux operating system, as I already said. So the requirement for this particular image is this. You need to have a Windows Server 2016 that we have already, or you should have a Windows 10 operating system with an anniversary edition, which we already have. Right. So we have both of these versions. So I'm going to start working with this particular uh, SQL Server image. And you can see what else that we need to supply in here. So for starting a SQL Server instance, you need to pass in these commands. Docker run hyphen D for detach mode. And there is a port being exposed of 1433 that we know that for a SQL Server, you need to expose this particular port. So this is a default port, right? So you need to expose this particular port. And there is an environment variable for that particular uh, SQL Server, which is nothing but the SA password. So you can see that it is an SA password. So the username is SA already. And the password, you can set any password that you like. And then there is an another environment variable, which is an accept EULA, and it's an end user license agreement. And you can set to Y. So you say yes. And then you need to pass in the image name, right? Basically, that's it. So if you pass this particular command in there for your PowerShell, you'll be pretty much fine to go. And as you have already seen in our previous video, we already downloaded all those things in our machine. So if I just do a CLS and if I just do a Docker image, and you can see that we have an Express Edition already for that particular SQL Server, right? So right now I'm going to run the SQL Server Express because I don't really have to pay anything. And it's, uh, it's free for a lifetime for my development purpose, right? So I'm going to just copy this guy. And as I already said, we need to pass in the command something like docker run hyphen D. And there is a port for the 1433 colon 1433 to be exposed for both the external and internal containers and the host. And then you need to pass in another environment variable, which is nothing but the SA password. The password is going to be the password that you're going to pass in. Let's say I'm going to set password one. And then you also need to set the EULA accept yes or no. But basically, what if I don't do this, right? Let me just ignore the particular command. And I'm going to just give the uh, name of the particular image. And if I hit enter, hmm, you can see that it is saying that uh, there is a problem with that particular uh, Docker daemon to identify that particular uh, path, right? I need to pass in the express. Sorry, I think that is a problem before we just cast in. And what if I hit enter? Oops. Hmm. I don't know what happened. It's not really accepting this particular image. What I did, I think I did some mistake. Maybe. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
I think that this particular image is an older one. Maybe if I just go back in here and if I see that for the Express Edition, it is Microsoft SQL Server Windows Express. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. It is pretty much correct, but I don't know. Maybe because of some reason that particular image is being corrupted or something like that. So I'm just using the different one right now. The Microsoft SQL Server 2016 Express Windows. All right, so it seems like it is running. So now if I just do Docker PS hyphen A, you can see that uh, we have this particular SQL Server which is up and running already, which is cool. So now if I just go back in here for my machine, Windows Server 2016, I have the Microsoft SQL Server 2016 Management Studio alone. So I don't have database, but I actually have a uh, Management Studio alone installed. It is an, again an Express Edition. So you can just download from the internet free and you can use it for your development purpose for Microsoft website, right? So I'm gonna connect that actually. So as you can see for connecting the, to that particular container, you need to identify the name of that particular uh, SQL Server, either you need to give the name or you need to give the IP address. Basically, we did not give any name yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm once again going to do this docker inspect. I need to get the IP address of that particular container which is running. So the container ID is 622. So if I give 622 and if I hit enter, you can see that this is the IP address of the particular uh, container running for the SQL Server. Right, so I'm just gonna paste it over here. And the password that we gave was capital P S S A. So P A S S W O R D one. All right, so if I hit enter, great. You can see that we are able to connect to the particular database. And we can also see there is a system database in here. So basically this is the uh, server, which is actually running from our SQL server from this particular container. Right. So now if you even go and see the properties, you can see that it has the 622C7813E264, which is actually nothing but our name of this particular container. Right. So that is this container. This is the server name and I mean the container ID. And then it has the version in here. So you can see that it is actually running the uh, version 13, which is nothing but the 2016 version. And you can see what else is being assigned for this particular uh, SQL Server. So basically you can create a database and perform the operation and pretty much the same thing what you do for a real database because it is a full blown database and it has a trial of, uh, sorry, it is an express edition. So you can create a database and you can perform all the operation, right? So once again, guys, these are some of the stepping stones for our upcoming videos of this course because we are going to scale out and we're going to perform a lot of operation using that. All right. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.